we're back. We're back in Opera Omnia. Uh, pretty um, weird uh, feeling, I would say, uh, today when I opened up the game because uh, this should be, as far as I know, the last, the last. Uh, Thank you so much, uh, Rob, for the uh, sub. Uh, 42 months, that's a lot. Thank you, so, thank you so much, as always, man, for the sub. You get a hug. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, as far as I know, this should be the last Lufenia event. Wow. It's been a long time. I can't even remember when Lufenia started. I think Lufenia started with, like... Eight lost chapter or something like that. If I remember correctly, eight lost chapter was like the first Lufenia. Maybe I don't remember. Oh, it what, what event? Uh, oh, maybe it was that actually. But but yeah. Anyway, it's a long uh, uh, eight with all the boards. Yeah. Um. It's a long time ago. I think it's for sure the era that lasted the longest of all, but also makes sense because there are more characters and everything else. But uh, it's been a while, uh, considering, you know, if you consider Lufania plus two, uh, it's been a long, long while. Um, and I kind of would like to kind of reflect a little bit on what the game kind of was during Lufania compared to before and what it's gonna be moving forward because of course we have to look at the future as well um, we all uh, pretty much know what is coming uh, FR weapons are the new thing the new shiny thing uh, they are stronger statistic uh, a, add one of four wait really holy shit I have to look into that uh, that's too much I don't know if I can do something about it, but I I'll try to do something about that. Uh, Pines, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, FR weapons will finally be, compared to the LD weapons, will finally be, finally be statistically higher than an EX. Uh, so finally you'll be able to change out your <laughs> EX plus weapon from your character. And be able to sell it. Uh, uh, so you can time us. So no pre-roll. Oh, okay. I, I definitely have to look into that. Okay, thank you for reminding me, guys. Uh, yeah, pre-rolls is uh, mm, not not good. I don't oh. like pre-rolls. Thank you, Lionel. Good to see you. Fifty-one months of subs. Holy shit, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a longest time, man. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much we get a hug as well as always thank you for the support so i wanted to reflect a little bit on uh, yeah like what the game was like what it's gonna be and uh, yeah compared to before as well so all in all i would say that lufenia uh for me, the whole era was mostly a very mixed bag. Um, more negatives than positive, actually, I think. Um, in general, if I have to look at all the fights that we had. Um, unfortunately, I never felt like the orb... Uh, I, I, I never felt like the orb mechanic was very well used some fight it was on some fight it was uh, most of the time i don't think it really was uh sometimes we all remember the most infamous orbs right that made uh, the team building incredibly restrictive if not impossible literally without some characters that's something that i absolutely don't like and uh it was unfortunately pretty often that we had that kind of you know uh sensation going to a fight when you when you knew you had this wonky uh, orb that you needed to address otherwise you you couldn't do shit and 
I feel like they already have Christie's. <laughs> yeah, but even we, even if you had Christie's, like, I mean, some orbs required you to have, like, enemy getting turned, stuff like that. Like, is uh, it's not always cheesable. Lufania Plus is a complete joke uh, most of the times. So, Luf I, 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 I'm not even really counting Lufania Plus, really, because we are way, um, w way more geared than the Lufania Plus difficulty, to be honest, from the get-go. Um, so... But in general, Lufenia, unfortunately, most of the time, I think it was just, eh, not really fun. Uh, some fights were fun, absolutely. Some fights were fun. Uh, some fights, the orb was kind of cool to manage without feeling restrictive. Um, and that was the best case scenario, of course. When the orb feels good, like when you can't upkeep the orb without sacrificing team building basically that's when the orb feels nice uh, but it it wasn't very often let's be honest it wasn't very often uh, that you had that those kind of orbs uh most of the fight it was very heavily uh targeted for the banner units um which isn't necessarily bad as long as there is room to breathe or something else as well uh, like for example, if you are giving me an orb that says do thunder damage, that's pretty generic. Uh, you, you you know there are a lot of characters that can do thunder damage. If you have an orb that says you have to do earth damage, and literally only two characters, actually one at the time, one character at the time did earth damage, then what the fuck? You know, like that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so yeah uh stuff like that very wonky um very wonky all, all these all these orb condition most of the time made the fight gimmicky even if the fight itself wasn't necessarily bad the, the orb made it so gimmicky to play uh it, it didn't feel natural to me uh, now we have the first of our month where you, see you, you use a fire, kill the boss in a pity phase, much better, sure. Okay, we'll talk about that as well, of course. Uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, don't worry, smoking style. So, uh, I I didn't uh, I didn't like that. Uh, even though some fights were actually cool, pretty cool, uh, mechanically uh, speaking. Um, yeah, Shalke was totally kind of random as well. Um... No, you have to recover both skills. Recover both skills using uh, a skill, right? Not even recover one skill. Recover both skills. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, not Shark Lost Chapter, the event, I remember, yeah. That also was uh, annoying. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, overall, I don't think anybody is really sad to see the orbs go. Uh, at the end of the day, I think... I think they did kind of a smart thing here during Lufania Plus, but unfortunately only recently. Um, they basically added, I don't know if you guys noticed, but they added multiple conditions for the orb. So you had multiple ways to keep up the orb. Like, why couldn't we get that like before, uh, you know, or something like that along those lines? Um, I feel like that would be would have been way better uh, for some for some fights uh, for sure. Now, uh, so yeah, unfortunately the orb kind of ruins it for me. Some fights were cool though. Um, at the end of the day, I still prefer the uh, I still prefer the chaos. I think chaos era was the was hardest shit overall, but not impossible. You still had room to. Uh, um, you still had room to build up some cool teams. You didn't have to stick exactly to banner units or something like that. So uh, I think Chaos was superior in almost every way compared to Lufenia, in my opinion, at least. But to be honest, the cool thing about Lufenia era is that we had the LD weapons, which I think most of the times, if not all, all the time, uh, were very, very good. Uh, because if you guys remember um, during uh, during Chaos era, character reworks were not that often as we get now. We basically get character reworks every new event. Um, 
not often as we get uh, as we have now um some and straight up some uh, um kit of some characters didn't feel really complete ld kind of fixes that fix uh, fixed a lot of uh character problems uh design wise uh, they complete the character way better so overall ld is a total success i think uh in general for me yeah exactly uh they exactly like now they are actually putting in the time to reward character in a like intelligent way you know what i mean uh it's not it's, uh, nowadays i think most of the characters nowadays kind of have a pretty well defined uh, kind of role uh design wise so for example now we, we are gonna see a lot of just damage tuning because the actual rework is done but we had a lot of reworks that actually were pretty pretty heavy to to some characters to rework how they they are supposed to be uh sometimes with just the ld like the ld changes a character for example think of oron that completely changes how the character plays with just the ld i think that was great that was a great example of a great ld and then you actually had also character reworks that you know made sense so uh i so the lufenia era is kind of meh but the ld is really what um what, what was cool for me in this era because the ld weapons uh were very very cool uh looking at yuk sande yeah i i don't feel like sande is um bad design wise but it, it's um like uh, the idea behind it is cool the implementation is not great let's put it that way so I definitely could use some help thank you jesus adorno for following up appreciate it yeah thank you thank you yeah exactly like we had and also we had way less frequent reworks like right now every event you get multiple character reworks not only banner unit you could have like two reworks stuff like that uh and that really keeps it's really healthy for the game i think because it keeps old characters you know afloat as well uh for example steiner didn't get a reward for like the longest time i remember that so clearly uh and now finally got a rework and ld and everything and he's going and it's great so that i really liked about the lufenia so th this part i really liked but the orb part is most of the time uh i look like uh, atrocious uh, <laughs> uh so that was that keep in mind that what i really like in this game and i think it shows pretty much every stream when i basically uh do nothing for 30 minutes trying to decide a team because i really like team building in this game okay it's what i like the most so that's why i really liked chaos or even cosmos you had more room to team build around every fight in lufania not so much so now moving forward yeah uh, yeah now the, the, the yeah moving forward what's going on we have fr weapons we have a basically the game changes completely again the way you play it um for those that are here since the beginning uh, like lionel for example here <laughs> uh it's crazy how much the game changed over the years like um like literally like the, the the way you played the the game was different <laughs> like i'm not even joking like you had to bravery attack and, and then dump your bravery with hp now you you the game is fast like every I, I think every iteration of the um of the combat system i would say every iteration of it had both good you know pros and cons because even even at the beginning, uh, uh, when the game uh, was released, you could argue, oh, that was like way better. We had to actually manage our bravery and then HP attack. It was more tactical. You had to resist getting broken. Otherwise you, you get one shot, like stuff like that. But at the same time, it was like, okay, but I have to do five waves of just bravery attacks because otherwise I use too many skills. The game is low as fuck because I cannot do anything until the last wave. Like there are both, good and bad for, for for all the uh for all the various air i think you had to use meta characters um 
it was hard, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was very hard because um, the score system was different. Uh, when you were doing cops, I remember you had to to do the maximum score possible. Uh, uh, otherwise, you couldn't even get into cops. Uh, some fights were straight up impossible without some characters. Like forget Lufenia, like those are the hard times. Holy shit! Like I couldn't even do Vanilla. I couldn't do Vanilla Lost Chapter until Garnet was released. I remember that so clearly. Like some fights were absolutely impossible. So I. <laughs> Uh, Dazzle, Airways, yeah, uh, Lena, Lena's EX stage, like, holy shit, like, <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't know if I want to recall the, those memories, oh my god, man, it feels like ages ago, it feels like a lifetime ago, but, uh, yeah, the game was completely different. Oh, you should, you should, I think you should, especially now that we're getting into kind of a new uh tier of weapons release stuff like that uh i gave up on the lena poison dragon so fast yeah all right so so yeah then we had cosmos and chaos also i think cosmos and chaos were the good the good days um now we move to uh shinryu era new difficulty new mechanic for both for both uh the player with fr weapons and the bosses as well uh it's gonna be interesting but there are concerns of course um i think cosmos will die next week rip r.i.p cosmos never forget never forget uh freya cosmos stage uh, Yeah, it, it's gonna look a little bit strange at the beginning because I, I, it really it will really feel like a different game. I feel. Um, the game will revolve about around uh, you know uh, well the game will play like normal uh, in the, you know uh, for the for the normal turns that you're doing, but you are filling up your um, fr uh, bar. Uh, the force, uh, force time bar up there for your team. Uh, there are also new character boards, uh, the FR boards, I believe, which basically gives more power to some uh, um, skills depending on your bar progress, right? So basically, like above eighty percent, your skills do like this more, or b below that, do this more, stuff like that. Uh, and the enemy do the same, so I think that's really cool. Okay, that that's a cool idea, uh, in theory. Uh, the enemy does the same. So uh, unlike having a fixed like orb from start to finish, they have like this bar that uh, just goes slowly up on every turn, and they have conditions basically that um, get added to the fight uh, along the way. And when they reach the fourth time, the one hundred percent bar. They also have some big effects. Uh, it's not... The cool thing is that you still have conditions to manage, at least from what I've seen, of course, because I don't play JP. But from what I've seen, you still have conditions to fulfill. You still have to be mindful of what the mechanic of the fight is. Okay. Um, but it's not so forced that you have to like use exactly this banner unit or stuff like that i'm seeing a lot a lot of variety for shinryu maybe more than ever actually you there is a lot of variety on like the way you can approach a fight i think uh yeah probably more than any era maybe uh so that's very cool uh if you want to team build if you are, if you want to have fun with a certain team and try you know a challenge stuff like that uh on a um on a particular Shinryu fight, you you probably can try and do that, and that's really cool. Uh, that's really really cool. Uh, HP bars normalized, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, on the other hand, uh, at least for the first, um, like unlike the other eras where the step was very like big, right? For example, when we when we get the first Chaos stages, holy shit, those were hard to do. When we get the first Lufania stages, those were kind of hard as well. Um, 
in this case i don't think that's gonna be the case i think it's gonna be a very like a way more relaxed uh start uh you will probably melt some bosses right away but over time uh, I think it's gonna get uh, a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, to preserve skills. Yeah, exactly. That, that, that's actually something that you had to do all the time uh, before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gonna be uh, easy. Uh, you, it's gonna start easy. Now there is, there are some concerns with this though. Um, the um, once you fill up your bar, you get to the force time. The force time basically is that uh, you fulfill a condition every turn based on the FR character that used the ability. And that gives you an HP damage bonus with no like HP limits. You have no limits. Uh, you get an HP damage bonus every turn, uh, depending on what you do. Changes the number, basically. And um, you have 10 turns of that um and it works in burst phases and and you can get pretty crazy uh numbers okay i have a favorite ff game absolutely it's nine nine is my favorite um you can get pretty crazy numbers like the power creep is absurd the power creep is absolutely absurd um kind of reminds me like um reminds me a little bit of like games like i don't know like diablo where you get to that point where you are so powerful that you do like like billions of damage literally but it's a completely different game of course uh but we're kind of going into that direction um you basically the game revolves around uh, doing as much damage as possible during force time which is good and bad in some ways it's cool because you get like i said you get to team build okay uh you, you can think okay i can do this i can use this force whip uh this fr weapon to with this character to proc this effect and have this hp bonus like stuff like that it's really i think that's cool the way you can team build around an fr weapon trying to maximize your damage at the same time though this will probably result in a lot of um one-sided affairs like if you not that not that we don't have them not that we don't have those right now okay you can you can melt any lufania plus stages uh very easily now uh so it's not uh, it's not something unheard of uh to melt a stage with some cheese tactics or stuff like that but it's gonna feel more consistent, I think, uh, this one-sided fight uh, in um, in FR weapons because there are some weapons like exactly like Kamlan of FR, which is stupid OP, uh, exactly with DBTF, of course, as well. Um, there are some. Um, I think Kamlan is really the outlier. Everything else is more or less, I think, cool. Um, but. Yeah, uh, you can get you can get two uses. I believe if you fully max an FR weapon, you can get two uses of the of that in a fight. But you will probably you probably will not need it for a long time, uh, because from what I saw, at least at the beginning, uh, one is more than enough. You do one, boom, the the boss is like half dead, if not dead. Uh, later on, I've seen more double FR uh, uses. Um, the thing is that. Um, the, so th this mechanic you can like or not like i think in theory it's pretty cool the implementation is questionable uh i think because like i said living in a world where you kind of get to ignore boss mechanics because you can just press a far burst and destroy disintegrate the boss it's not exactly exciting um but um I think that's mostly just at the beginning. It's gonna be for a while, but at the beginning. After after that, it's gonna be more, a little bit more. You, you, you're gonna have to think a little bit more about, about you know, everything that's going on. Um, so I hope that's the case. My main issue though with uh, FR weapons 
is it's kind of this because of the numbers because the numbers get so stupidly high the the drawback of this is that basically all the damage that you do outside of fr feels pointless um that's my main problem because the bosses have uh, such a huge hp pool to resist all these fr uh, uh, fr crazy damage percentages everything else that you do outside of fr doesn't feel like feels like waste of time basically that's my main issue with it um so what, what's gonna happen basically is that you're gonna try to set up a fight to just do the best fr and that's it um yeah because literally you, you you're not gonna have that same uh, kind of turn to turn gameplay where every turn that you do matters because you are thinking about the boss turn you're gonna you're just gonna think about my turns matter just because i need to get to the fr that's why uh we are seeing stuff like call selfie and do five walls in a row like yeah like that just to to bring up the fr gauge because everything else is pointless so that's i think my main issue with it um even though we have uh, um we have the fr boards um we have the fr boards which kind of empower some skills based on the fr gauge so that helps a little bit to do it feels like feel like the uh, base abilities are more impactful but i think that's my like number one issue with that um and yeah for context i don't think that characters that get multiple turns in a row i don't think that should increase uh the fr gauge like um consecutively like i i don't think that's that, that, that shouldn't be a thing you know if you have if you have consecutive consecutive turns only the first turn give you the our progress right i think that's what i was should that's how we should be this is essentially the problem we have right they look like uh look at all the fancy new power you have but then you have by the way since we get new power the bosses have like one yeah one gazillion hp and they have mechanic to counter your new powers yeah that's always the case with it um i mean it has to be that way otherwise it's literally you're not even playing a game then you're just killing everything right but um I don't think like the, the thing is that if FR like the, the problem really is that FR uh, the FR HP damage multipliers are just too too big like they should just be you know chill um, even if you add like an FR that says you get I don't know five only five percent HP damage bonus if you do this like that's already like enough you don't need to have like oh i get 70 percent hp damage bonus by doing like whatever like that's too much you know yeah that's kane but uh, uh, unironically that's how it should be you know uh, i think to have a, a more balanced uh affair here because otherwise like you said like i said you get into this into this situation where everything that you do outside of the fr is pointless so uh, that's um that's the main issue i uh, from what i heard i know that they were th from what i saw in jp at least they i think they said specifically that they are looking into ways to make the fr more um like exciting to use stuff like that uh so i don't know we'll see what they do uh but uh, like i said there are there are there are a lot of issues with this uh, system, I think, that hopefully they will fix. Um, at the same time, uh, there are also some positives that we discussed. They have to nerf units to sell the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> and now everyone has a way to get free turns, extra two, whatever, but all the bosses punishing you for delay, free turning by murdering you. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I would say that they, I mean, yes and no. Um, I think they needed to do that at some point because um, there were too many ways to just not not let the boss act ever, basically. So when they um, when they decided to get uh, you know frame turns or boss that gets instant turns stuff like that, it can be annoying, but it's also at the end of the day it's for the best. Otherwise, you could just literally just quiz this everything or stuff like that. 
and uh, <laughs> that's not uh, super good uh, also. Um, but yeah, that was my ramble about uh, the Lufania and everything going forward. Uh, I am, st I am, I am absolutely uh, excited to, to try out Shinryu. Uh, I think it's gonna be incredibly cool to be able to do one AA without having an orb tick down. Holy shit, that's gonna feel good, man. Oh my god. I don't know how much I wait at that moment. Use an AA without the uh, orb having to tick down. <laughs> that's my main, <laughs> that's my main goal for Shiryu. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, um, yeah, so I think we are more or less uh, all in agreement in kind of what's going on here. Hopefully, uh, it's gonna be fun. Hopefully, it's still gonna be fun. We'll see.